Hey y'all, so I'm not gonna be on here long. I really had to repent because I was supposed to have did this video earlier. I um <laughs> just I did do the video but I didn't do it live and I was so convicted because I deleted it because of all the imperfections in it. One being this pimple on my face and the Lord is like Do I care more about the souls of his people or the imperfections of my face today? So y'all yeah, care more about the souls of God's people, so I'm just gonna be obedient and do what I feel the Lord is telling me to do and so I'm gonna share these two dreams with you that I had last night and so the first dream I um we were running down the street and as we were running down this street we were being chased by these people and I see this guy that I went to school with and so we running him for help we running him for protection but he couldn't help us so I end up, we end up running and we end up seeing this other guy. And so this particular guy, he was like a celebrity. He was really, really nice looking. And um, he was just holding up all these different faces of people that he was protecting at that moment. Like he was protecting people at that time. So we run to him because we feel like, oh, you know, he's protecting them. So he can protect us. So we run to this guy, this real nice looking celebrity guy. We run to him. And um, as we get to him, he pulls us up. He holds us up and it's like he's unbalanced though like it was just unbalanced so he picking us up from the ground and i guess his way of protecting us or whatever the case may be so i step back and i look again and i notice that his hand began to stretch and i'm like well you know it, it was just real weird i couldn't understand like what was going on so i looked again and i noticed his hand started to change it started to change into like a a, a beast like a alien type of hand and as I continue to look, his whole, everything, his whole entire being just changed. He changed from a human to like a beast, to like an alien, literally, while he was holding, holding us. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like how did this real attractive, nice, nice guy turn from like being so nice looking to like this beast, you know? And um, it's like, his, it's everything about him just changed. And all of a sudden, this lightning from the sky hit him. And when it did, it's like his body just went into shock and it literally zapped him of all his strength. So when I came out of that dream, I feel like the Lord was saying that in the end times, times of Antichrist and actually the spirit of Antichrist is running around here rapidly right now. But in the end times, you know, people thinking that the Antichrist is going to look a certain way. He's going to come and we're going to be able to tell, you know, just from looking at him that he's an Antichrist. So we're going to be able to tell this is the mark of the beast. No, I feel like God is saying that he's going to be so he's going to be so appealing to the eye. But everything is going to be going on in the end times. Everything is going to be going on in this time. We're looking for help here. We're looking for help there. We're trying to find peace here. And we're looking in all these different places for help. And then we see this guy, this real nice looking person, this person that appeals to the eye, to the lust of the eye. And we say, oh, he can help us because he's helping them. And then look at him. He looks like he has it going on. He like he has, you know, what we need. So we run to this person not knowing that we're running right into the hands of the antichrist not knowing that because we're not in the spirit we're not praying we're not spending a long time with the lord so we don't see the true heart behind this man's agenda so because it appears that he's this amazing person we run to him for help because he looks appealing he's this celebrity type looking guy everybody eyes all on him and then we get there and then he changes but the amazing thing about this dream was at the end when the lightning fell and struck this man, he was zapped of all power. And that's exactly what it's going to be when, when in the end times, when the Lord come back, that he is going to, he's going to snatch away all the power of that, you know, the Antichrist, Satan himself, the mark of the beast. He's going to zap them of everything they had. But here's the thing. This is the warning. Are you spending a long time with the Lord so you will be able to discern what spirit is somebody operating in? I feel like, you know, there's so many things going on in the earth today, but we're not spending time with the Lord, so we don't know what's God. Is this God? Is that God? Like, what is God? But I don't believe that you're you're going to be able to pay, you're going to be able to understand who God is just by the lust of your eyes and what you're looking at in the natural. You're going to have to be in the spirit. It's going to take time and fasting with the Lord, spending time with him. So when he speaks, you'll know it's him because something that looks good, that's not, this does not mean that it's the Lord. So you need to know for yourself, like what 
and who is the Lord? Is this God? Is this what he telling me to do? Is this the church I'm supposed to be in? Oh, it looks good. Everything is going on good in this church. It looks like people getting saved. But is God telling you to go? Is anybody's souls being transform transformed? Anybody's life being transformed? Y'all, spend time with the Lord so you can know what the Lord is saying do. So my second dream, we were running down the street. And as we were running down the street, it's like the sky begin to light up but it was a light of like darkness and um like lightning and all these things was happening in the sky and people were starting to be zapped like literally zapped my phone is about to try to die so they they literally being zapped like one by one but this was not the rapture this was the wrath of god and i'm telling you it was so much chaos that nobody knew where to go nobody knew what to do everybody was wondering but you could not run and you could not get away from the wrath of God. You couldn't get away from God's hand. He was bringing his wrath to the earth. This is before the rapture even took place, right? Open your Bibles. Go in Revelation. Everything that I'm saying that I've seen in these dreams is in Revelation. So as we're running, I said, let's go left. Like I knew by the Spirit of God that the direction that we were supposed to go. So we run and we go to the left and we go to this house. But when we got to this house, I just felt really felt like led by the Holy Spirit. We was not supposed to be in that house. I was like, we have to leave. We have to go back out. And the young lady that was with me, she's like, well, I'm afraid. And I said, well, follow me because I know the way. And so we left. We were safe, right? So I feel like the Lord was saying, once again, when, when he comes, when, his, when he brings his wrath to the earth, those that does not have an intimate relationship with him would not know what to do. Would not know what to do. The things are going to take place. His hand, you're going to be uh, in the midst of that. But only those who have kept a close-knit relationship with you, only those would know what to do. Only those would know where to be in certain times. Only those would know where to go. But if you're not in sync with the Lord, you're not going to know what to do. Listen, y'all. There's so much going on right now. So many things are happening right now. We have no idea, like, what is what. Like I said, only by God's Spirit will you be able to recognize what is God saying. But the only way you're going to be able to recognize that is if you spending a long time with the Lord. I am so tired of churches that's not being honest with people. I sat and listened to a pastor say the reason why he don't preach about sin and repentance is because he feel like the people been beat up enough in the world as today. So he choose not. He just choose to encourage. But who would stand up and preach about sin and repentance? Do you know in Revelations that Jesus said to five churches out of a seven to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand do you see the importance of repenting and he said if you do not repent and he said and if you do repent your name will not be blotted out of the book of life so why is it that we teaching people that once saved always saved when the bible does not say that how is it that your name get, get blotted out of the book of life if you, go, if you can always be saved, how? And why should we have to repent if we're going to forever be saved? Why? Why is Jesus telling us to repent? Open your Bibles. Ask the Spirit of God to reveal to you in Scripture what he is saying. You can have been read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but if you have no revelation of God's word, you will not know what to discern, discerning of the times, especially the times now. Can I just say this? To us black women, black women, do you know why abortions, why you, do you even know why abortions, they even came up with the idea of having abortions? Do you understand they were trying to do away with black people all together? That was the whole purpose, to get rid of us, to, so we can become extinct? That was the reason of abortions, but yet... When we vote, we vote according to our political party instead of what God is saying do what's right in the eyesight of the Lord. When God say that, when he said in his word that I knew you before I formed you in your father's womb, your, in your mother's womb, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. When I, when I formed you in your mother's womb, he said I knew, you I knew you before I formed you. Do not believe the lies. If God is saying I knew you before I formed you, that means that before you was even formed in the womb of your mother, before you was even, even before you was perceived, conceded in your mama's womb, that God knew you. You had purpose. So we got some that want to say, well, what if they're right? Then they should be able to get abortions. Well, let me just say this. Once again, God said, if I knew you before I formed you, give a baby up for adoption. Thou shall not kill. 
So why are we voting according to political parties instead of according to the word of God? I remember having a conversation with a girl when I was doing hair. And she said to me, she, she, you know, she had this whole argument of why man shouldn't tell women what they can do with their bodies. And I asked her, well, are you a Christian? She said she is. So as I politely read the word to her and broke the word down to her, her mouth was on the floor. And I noticed that she was trying to get a little hostile. And I almost said, you know, I'm not going to go there. But the Holy Spirit said, no, you don't back down. You speak truth. So I speak truth to you today. If you are a Christian, you vote according to the will and plan of God. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? And the reason why I'm addressing black women is because we, as black women, we have more abortions than any other ethnic, any other ethnic. Who did you abort? Did you abort Elijah the prophet? Did you abort um, another David? Did you abort the next prophet? What did you abort? And if you did, repent. Just repent. And don't do it anymore. Know your history. Know what's going on in the earth. Know what sounds good always ain't always what it, what it appears to be. The enemy has a hidden agenda. But the only way that you're going to know that is if you spend time alone with the Lord. Like I said, in the dreams, they're warning dreams, y'all. They are warning dreams. People was not ready. People didn't know what they was running into. People didn't know um, what was evil versus good. They didn't know. But the Bible tells us all that. That what's, what seems right to a man and, and what seems good is evil and what's evil becomes good. That's what's happening right now. Y'all listen, just as Jesus said, Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Turn away from your sin. Surrender your life over to the Lord and live for the Lord. Listen, I prefer to be doing exactly what I feel like, something else that I feel like I do, but I could not rest until I release what I feel like the Lord wanted to say to you today. It's so important that we listen to the Spirit of God, but the only way you're going to know what the Spirit of God is saying is if you know Him. I'm not talking about you just going to church. It's not going to work. Do you know him? Not just with the pastor teaching, because that's like I just told you, the pastor saying he don't want to teach about sin and repentance because basically he don't want to offend nobody. He's afraid. But here's the thing. The gospel is offensive. You're going to offend people. I'm going to offend people. But who do I care more about? Do I care more about what my father's saying? Like who I got the answer to when I get up out of here? Or do I care about these people on this earth? Like what they going to do to me? No, I, I think I'm going to submit to what my father said. I'm going to speak truth in love and grace, whether people want to hear it or not. Find your church that's doing it. But even when you do, you still take the time. Study the word to show thyself approved. Study the scriptures. Meditate on the word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit. Only by his spirit will you be able to understand what the spirit of God is even saying through his word. It's not just knowledge. You need revelation by his spirit. Okay, love y'all. Y'all be blessed. I hope y'all got something from this. But um, are you prepared? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because we are walking. We are walking in the end times. We are walking in the last days. Believe me when I tell you that. So listen to what I said. Pray about it. Find your church that is speaking truth with love and grace. That ain't trying to sugarcoat the word of God for you. That make you feel good all the time. You don't need to feel good all the time. No, you need to be convicted so you can repent and turn from your sin. Love y'all. Be blessed.